Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, Grand Arena time. This is season two, week two, round three. I am in the finals. I am four and one right now. But this is going to be an even closer battle if I can do it than my last opponent. I don't really care if I win or not. I want to win, but... It's, it's, I don't like I said in previous videos I got Kyber last time so this time I'm just kind of taking it easy a little bit more um, he did struggle against my uh, grievous team I pulled I pulled my clones off of defense because there's a feat this round to use them on offense so I wanted to do that because I, I like to play my clones so I pulled BB8 out of my ray team in the back so and put in stick ray and that's a a scrub team he went two on my grievous but if you look at his score he still almost got 1890 which means he he was able to undersize in the back which i kind of figured people would so um the last round i got 1886 and won by two points so i got to be really efficient on this guy to win um not too concerned about the front line but there's no night sisters up front so I'm gonna have to, be, have to be. I'm gonna have to be mindful to keep a night sister counter. Um, I do have my geos. So let's see what his night sisters look like. Okay, so he's got an all relic to night sister. So I'm not gonna be able to geo that. So I can use my geos up front. Oh, and this is a wolf pack member, so I'm probably not going to win anyway because the wolf pack definitely know what they're doing. So we'll have fun with it, I guess. I'm um, go down to the bottom. Um, nest is there, so of course I'm just. Well, I won't use Trey yet. Let's just deal with the the elephant in the room and get Grievous out of here. Uh, no BB-8 to put in. B or put in T3. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do since it, what what relic level of Grievous was this? Well, it's relic level 3. So I'm tempted to use a Bastila lead. And I think I'm going to do that actually. Um, one of the arguments is that the Bastila leads don't put out enough offense. But uh, I'm fairly, fairly confident. Otherwise, I wouldn't try it. In this way, I uh, avoid the uh, buff train or the uh, debuff train off the beginning. So, of course, not gonna go for the bait there. I'll pass over to Yoda, who's gonna pass around that. And then I'm going to immediately target B2, focus him down. Bye-bye, B2. And now B2 should be gone. Now Grievous is open. Still no debuffs on the field. Let's just uh, pass some buffs. Let's get rid of the defense up. And now let's uh, pick on Grievous. Let's see if I can get some protection back. They still haven't landed a debuff. Who should we pass this over to? Let's pass this over to Hermit Yoda. Let's get some turn meter and some little bit of protection back. Of course, I'm. F oh, now I can go after the guy I want. It's not going to be a 60 banner win, but I will definitely take it. No, not a 60 banner win, but against Grievous, 57 is all right. But also, 
Jedi Revan is what I would have used against their Night Sisters. But if they don't have Darth Revan back there, if he saved it for offense, I can use my Padme on the Night Sisters. So obviously Django. Um, I do believe it was a fast Bosk. I think it was 280 something. 300. And lots of tenacity. So 330 Bosk. I do not want to have them get out in front of me. So of course I'm going to use my CLS, which is my go to Django counter. Oh, I almost hit the stun button on Django. Uh, my finger almost slipped there. And counter, 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 counter. Let's see if I can stun Bosk since he has the tenacity down, and I didn't. So we'll just remove him outright. Again, with, J with um, Dengar in there, this isn't going to be a high banner win because his bombs will just kill me. Go away, Dengar. No one wants to play with you. And I'm going to lose R2, actually. Unless I can get up enough protection. No, R2's gone. Sorry, R2, I tried. Well, already that's going to put me behind the eight ball on banners. But this is for fun, right, guys? 55. 55, we don't want 55s, but I do believe as long as I can keep a 55 average, I can still win. So, da 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 da. Karth team. What can I budget use against this Karth team? It's got bays. Let's roll up these teams I got left. Trey, I'm probably going to have to use bugs. And then I got troopers. I really want to use bugs against Karth. Let me even save my pad bay for. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was already doing some presetting for uh, next round. Confirm squad, not battle. That would have been bad. Okay. It's Karth. I want to keep four good teams. Clones good. Darth Revan good. Padme good. Trey, I'm probably going to have to use. So, yeah. No, let's make sure it is the Karth one I selected, and then we're going to use Bugs. Yep. Going to use Bugs. I, uh, bugs can be a little bit cr crappy with the days. Let's do it. Screw you, Ordo. Once one form of AoE off the board. Two forms of uh, oh, there goes mission. Okay. Uh, let's just counter. Sorry, guys. Someone uh, phoned and it uh, cut out my uh, video recorder. So I did take bugs in against Karth, and uh, I got uh, full 60 banners against the Karth team. So I'm doing good. So the Night Sisters are in the back, but they also put bugs in the back, which I'd rather not use clones on the bugs 
So I need a tray of the bugs. I can Padme, the Night Sister. But then if they have Darth Revan back there, then I'm really hooped. But they have Nest here. I guess I can, I can, I can use uh, my clones against the bugs. It's not gonna be full banners, but the uh, counter attacks are gonna do their, do some work. So let's, uh, I have never really tried that. So we're actually gonna do that. It's Nest, I just, I don't like Nest guys. I've been burned by her too many times to take a, uh, to take her lightly so we are going to uh, Treya this and then we're going to try Rex against the clones I, th I figured he was there's going to be nicer sisters in the back there's just no way he wouldn't have used them I'm not going to use my buff to spell yet because I'm just going to uh, isolate her. Ta da. And then I'll use it on. Uh, I'll use my uh, big dispel to get rid of Pathfinders. And now I'll start picking on Vandor. Yeah, you do whatever you want there, L3. Bye, Vandor. Oh, you have a buff, Scarif? Not anymore. Now oh, you got your buff back. Perhaps I should uh, pick on your master. Yes. Oh, sorry, Nest. Bye bye. Kira, get lost. Oh, where's your buff? Bye bye. My Savage is Zated. I uh, I definitely do not regret that Zeta. I need it. It was it was pivotal uh, pivotal back in the mall days, in the mall meta, and I did it back then, and I don't regret it. And he's still gear eleven, and he gets so much work done in uh, TBs, and uh, obviously GA. Um, no place in TW though, unfortunately. 57. So I'm still on a good average here, guys. Let's see what's in the back. If Darth Revan's back there, I'm screwed. And he is. Great. Not good. That means I'm going to have to try an EP counter against the Night Sisters. Ugh. Great. A mall. Well, that's your budget team. With an old Ben. Zeta Sidious. So that's going to be a fast team, actually. Yeah, 248. Uh, I don't think I can trooper it. Uh, Relic 4. Wait a minute. How fast is the 300 and 331? Okay, think about this. I can shock Tianic in that team, right? And then that still leaves me Padme, but no Anakin. Huh. Okay. Cause I oh yeah da 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 da. Well, I can use I can use my Darth Revan against the Night Sisters. Padme against the Bugs. Oh wait. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get a little bit creative here, guys. Okay, Darth Revan. All relict, but I, I go up against that every day in my arena. 
So we are going to try to shock T, nuke this team. My guys are all set up and modded for the shock T nuke to work. That's my best bet, because then I can use Padme elsewhere instead of using her. Yes. Yeah, and that... Screw it. Let's stop second-guessing. Let's just go for it. Definitely a little bit more nerves doing this in GAC. Oh, crap. I, that that might have been a fuck-up on my part. I didn't want to kill him because I need his damage. There we go. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Bye-bye. And my cl three clones survived. I get the feet. Woo! Okay, that takes some pressure off. But still, that mall team might freaking throw me. So we got mall, night sisters, and bugs. Freaking bugs, man. He's got great night sisters. Still got troopers left. Damn, bugs. Yeah, bugs will throw you up if you don't got a counter. It's the Night Sisters. Oh, without Anakin, this could be tough. What do I got for Galactic Republic left? Oh, Barris. Yeah. Yeah, Barris. Perfect. It's perfect for Night Sisters. I did select the Night Sisters, right? Yep. Okay. No Anakin, though. Um, it's very unfortunate. But let's, let's give her a go. So I'm going to have to rely on Snips to be doing all my damage. This goes through. No. One. Oh. Screw you, Asajj. Hey, 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 now. Oh, Barris doing the work. Okay, I got the confuse on zombie. Oh, crap. I don't want some stun, so let's go kick Doc in the face. Let's leave her like that. Because I want to be able to pick on her. Hey, 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 hey. God damn you, Asajj. Without Anakin, this sucks. Second death. OK. 
okay, now you guys are dying for real this time, and I'm going after Asajj, so she can't take off my, uh, whatchamacallit, courage stacks. Of course, of course didn't get the freaking, oh wait, 19 stacks, bye. Okay, you can go away, because I'm sick of you stripping my courage. Oh, you're getting countered hard. Okay, let's put on Confuse. Well, I'm not going to get... Uh, I'm not going to get those protection banners back. Oh, oh, oh. But at least I'll have full health. So was that, 55? Yeah, 55. Okay, so there's his Night Sisters. So now it's just Bugs and that stupid mall team. Freaking Bugs, man. Oh, I just wanted Darth Revenant just to kill it. And then that mall team. Almost put put Wampa in there instead of Tarkin. I haven't really seen any troopers versus bugs. Mm. Crap. Frickin' bugs. Well, let's stop pussyfooting around here. Take in this freaking overpowered team and be done with them. They could still kill someone though, especially if they get to um, my Sith assassin. I'm gonna do shock. Just on you? No. And you're cleansed. Yeah, that's what I figured would happen. Ouch, Jesus. Bye. Okay, well, that's that. It's a lot of banners to be off the table. Shouldn't even have brought her in, but then they would have picked on someone else. Fifty-six, still an okay average, though. It's all gonna come down to the frickin' mall. Oh, cause what is that? Sixteen, seventeen hundred. So it's gonna be eighteen thirty-four. Eighteen thirty-four. So if I if I full clear him, I should be. So 1650 plus 180 is, yeah, 1754, 1834, 1834. If I get 60, it's 1894. So that's a win against them all with old Ben. Yeah, because they're all going to be stealthed. And then they're going to go really fast. Maul's gonna get his days out. They're gonna have AoE'd. Gonna get AoEs. Uh, do I put in Shore in there then? To eat the hits? Probably, right? Because I'm not going to have a tank, and I really don't want them picking on EP. Yeah. Uh, no cleanser. Damn. 
Now once Bastel Sean Fallen starts going with her debuffs, I'll should be able to keep up the uh, turn meter train. Healing with Thrawn and Short Trooper. Fuck it. They're all going first though. He's stunned already. I'm not going to waste my fracture stunning him when he's stunned and shocked. Yes. Oh, but part of me wants to speed up Palp and Thrawn. Yeah, let's do that. Let's speed up Palp and Thrawn. Oh, and then look at that. Ended up killing him. Who's the next biggest target? I could pick. Probably Maul. Well, not Maul. You guys all got Stagger. Hmm. Let's do Savage. He's tanky and can cause some problems. Let's give that back over to Bastila. I'm hitting you, for sure. Stun you. Another shock on you. Oh, another mass stun. Oh, guys, I think this is going to be a 60 banner win. Well, no, look at Shore. Still taunting, though. If you typically just throw your Darth Revan down on defense, I do highly recommend you put, hold him for offense and put Bastila Sean Fallen in with your uh, EP team. It it's it does, it really, oh, let's get some protection back on Vader. It really does make it quite a little jack-in-the-box team. All right, what can I do to stall? I think no matter how much I stall, I'm still not going to get all my banners back, but I don't have to get my banners back. I'm going to win if I clear anyway. So let's just end this now and see how the chips fall. Fifty-eight. That should be the win. Fucking rights it is. Three-point win. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> that, was a, that was an epic freaking battle. That was awesome. That was so good. Well, five and one against the Wolf Pack. I definitely had to think on what to use. But I th I made the right choices. Yeah, that's sneaky. You had good teams on defense. You had a lot on there. I just had enough tools to overcome the pieces that he laid out for me. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry that I lost the front half of this video due to my wife nagging me. But we'll go over what I used. So I used Treya on Kira. And I really contemplated not using Treya because I I had the back zone open that showed the bugs. But I really don't like to mess around with Nest, especially on a two-tank team. So I decided to Treya this team. I used uh, a Bastila-led uh, Jedi Knight Revan team against uh, Grievous, I think for 56 banners. Um, the Treya team, uh, I didn't lose anybody, but I think it was a 55 banner. I got about a 55, 56 banner buffer. Um, Karth, I beat with bugs for 60 banners, picked it apart. And uh, Django, I used CLS, but I lost my R2, so that was a 56 banner win. 56 or 54. I think it was actually 54. I think it was a 54 banner win. And pulled it out. Pulled it out. And that's with him having two shot my 
Gravis with BB-8, which is excellent on defense. And then he was able to undersize win some of my back row because my back row was weak. But there it is, guys. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I know I sure did. That was fun. Uh, until the next round. Cheers, guys.